Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. What I have for you guys today is a makeup haul. I did recently order some stuff, buy some stuff online. So if you wanna see what I have in here, just keep on watching. Okay, so this is gonna be some stuff I ordered online, some stuff I got at Walmart, and some stuff I got at Ulta Beauty. So again, in no random order. <laughs> I did see this. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but I saw this at Ulta and I was like, what is this ginormous bottle? This is Makeup Revolution Glow Revolution Prime Set Glow Illuminating Face and Body Spray. It does have one of those little balls inside. And this looks just like the MAC Gold Lit one, the ones that you shake up. And it has, a, <clears throat> it gives you that shimmer and I'll link everything down below so you can see what it's, what the price is, but this is in the color Eternal Gold, and the other one was a very bronze color. It looked very, very orange, so I skipped it, and then, so it has this giant cap, but look, it has a nice spray bottle. Let me just spray it so you guys can see the spray. It's a nice mist, and it does have, like, nice like shimmery reflex not too chunky by any means the other thing that i picked up that sometimes there's a lot of things that i really want to pick up for makeup revolution but i just wait for it to get to ulta so i finally picked these up these are the makeup revolution cut crease canvas i got the white one yeah this is called halo white and i got the color create medium this is what they look like and i know a lot of people have done comparison videos with these along with the p louise base which i do have the p louise base so if you guys want to see a comparison just let me know and if you don't want to see a comparison i'll probably just use these in like upcoming drugstore videos and just let you know my thoughts this versus the base because i do have the white base and i do have the rumor base in number two which is very similar to that color then at my local Walmart, I finally found some new Wet n Wild lippies. I had been looking for this one. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick. This is the color Cedar Later. It's super cute. I've already taken off some of the plastic so I could swatch it for you guys. They don't have a scent. That is what that color is looking like. Just a nice like brown type of nude shade. And then I did pick these two up. These are the Wet n Wild Lip Gloss. I don't know if these are just, oh, I think these are like the horoscope ones. I got Pisces because I'm a Pisces and I got Aquarius just because I liked it. So that is what these two are looking like. They look really pretty. Again, I'll swatch it for you so you guys can see. Whoa, yeah, this one. It just seems pretty glittery. I guess I'll just see once I apply it over whatever I'm going to apply it with. I don't even, you can definitely see the peachy one and then the other one. Maybe you can't see it that well, but see how it kind of has like a reflex of. Then, um, oh, this is just from TJ Maxx. This is just another, um, what's it called? A liquid shadow this is in the color enchantress and it just looked so so pretty and i got this at marshall's home goods there's a marshall's home goods right by my house which is awful but awesome it's like a nice pink i don't know it looks really pretty and honestly when these first came out I want to say I bought like four or five and they're 25 bucks. So now that I see them around for $7.99 at Marshall's, that's like the only place I want to get them at now. I did get two other things. This is just a back. I had some stuff that I had to get rid of. So I did back to max some products and I got two lip glasses and this is what they are. I got the color Spice, which is the top one. And I got Oyster Girl because I've always wanted it and every time I've gone in there to look for it, they never have it, which kind of sucks. I mean, not like I go to Mac all that often, but I remember M, M. Reezy was always raving about it and it's so pretty over pretty much anything. <laughs> Spice, I just picked it because it's just like a nice nude everyday gloss. 
and they're not as sticky as I thought they were. So then two other things that I finally got, I finally got ColourPop palettes. I own probably like two or three liquid lipsticks from ColourPop when the company first launched, which was a long time ago. So I finally picked up some palettes. Of course, I'm picking up the purple one, but it's out of stock. So as soon as it comes back, I'm going to buy it. So I did pick up the Ooh La La one just because I figured I'm going to get the pink, the purple, and I'll get the green. The green one is their newest one. It's called Just My Look, and I'm opening it with you guys. I haven't even looked at it myself, and I got it because... My birthday is on St. Patrick's Day and I don't know, I just wanted another green palette and I wanted another palette from ColourPop just to have a few to share with you guys. It's called Just My Look. The packaging is just this plastic. It looks really pretty. It does have a film on the, on the mirror, but this is what the palette is looking like. It kind of reminds me of the Huda Beauty emerald and it kind of reminds me of my melt cosmetics smoke sessions palette oh yeah that color is called mary jane haha <laughs> olive 50 50 kiss my ass haha <laughs> funny shades anyways so i did pick that up and then i picked up the ooh la la just just because it looks cute i like the purple and the light pink shades and again i know a lot of you guys like color pop so I thought I would try it and do some tutorials with it. And these are super affordable. I think the packaging is really cute, really nifty, you know? Oh, another thing from ColourPop that I got was this. I don't know why. I've just been into greens and neons and limes. I don't know, but this is a super shock shadow. And this is in the color Fizz. Let me see if I can swatch it. I forgot how... <laughs> buttery and creamy these are this almost looks like the pigment i have on which i do have a neon pigment on but this definitely has some like gold reflex which is cool i'm sure this will layer nicely over a green base or as a topper or i don't know but we will see <laughs> another thing that i got is this this is actually like a makeup swab from my friend mariella we traded some stuff so she gave me this and i got her a p louise base because she hasn't tried it and i'm always um telling her how good it is and how much i want her to try it so we did like a little swap so i kind of wanted this <laughs> anyways this is the pixie glow cake this is in the color pink champagne glow it's basically like a all-in-one type of thing so that is what that looks like again these will just be things that i will be incorporating in upcoming videos again mostly drugstore and just some new brands you know i'm a lot i'm on instagram a whole lot so yeah oh i wanted to share this brush with you guys i found this at the dollar tree let me see yeah it's pretty flat i really do think i'm gonna like it so that is what that is looking like oh yes while i while while at target one day i think I, I needed milk i don't know anyways i don't know why a lot of sonia kashuk brushes are empty but they always are and i picked this one up because i think it was on sale or i don't know if it's because they didn't even have that many but it was just a tiny brush this is called the petite smudge and i think i messed it up by putting the cap back on but it's a really tiny brush which i really like those type of brushes and I've been enjoying most of the last Sonia Kashuk tiny brushes I've been picking up from Target. So this is just another one to add to my brush collection from Ulta. I did finally pick this palette up. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm telling you. I've been into greens and I finally picked this up. This is the 35M. A lot of you guys here like it. I don't have a palette like this. I do have four morphe palettes 35b the purple one the 3502 and the james charles so this will be a new one to my collection i just really liked the green tones i i did i i, I liked all of them you know so this is what this looks like i think it's really pretty i think it's affordable i do like 
morphe palettes i definitely like this design better for the palette a little bit more squared off it's really nice um i don't care for the she i'll probably just throw that away and then the last thing that i got was this i did make an order for from the makeup shack this is these are a pair of eyelashes in the style Kalani, and i follow rocio cervantes here on youtube a lot I love her tutorials. I love her lashes. She uses a lot of Makeup Shack stuff. So I did pick up three brushes and let me take them out of the plastic so you can see how tiny they are. The first one I got is the T65 and this was just from like her recommendation video. This is a very tiny like pencil brush. So again, I'm very much into <laughs> tiny detail brushes that's my thing i really like that another brush that she had recommended is the t14 and i don't have anything like this it's a very pointy brush i don't know if like once i start using it it'll fan out but it's very pointy like it looks perfect for the crease so there's that one and the last one that i got um i got two of these <laughs> i used one already because i figured if i'm gonna if this was five this was 5.99 again i'll link everything down below this is the makeup shack t48 this is the one that she always says she cuts her crease with and i really do like it i like the ovalness of it i like the flatness of it i do like it so i did get two this one's used <laughs> i used it in today's makeup video but it was 5.99 and i figured you know what i'm gonna get two now because if I love it, I'm going to wish I would have got two because they're not expensive. And the last brush that I got is a Morphe one. Again, while I was at Ulta, this is the Morphe M167. It's very similar. <laughs> and I don't know if I'll like it again for concealer or like cutting the crease. But if I don't, I really enjoy these type of flat brushes just to pat down a lid shade or just get really up here in the crease area that is everything for this little haul maybe it was little maybe it was big to some of you my birthday is on saint patrick's day i don't know when this video will go up but i figured for my birthday i always buy a lot of makeup so i thought i would share this little haul and then another haul because if i get anything it's usually makeup that's the one thing i always always want and feel like i don't have enough of so i hope you enjoyed this haul let me know what you think of this makeup. Um, it will be up before or after this. And I will see you in my next video.